this is another book that I found in Chandler's little book bin. Um, it is Fingers for Lunch, and it says, Watch Your Fingers Disappear. It has like five little holes. So, and it's by Grant Lewis and Corey Doerfeld. Okay, so, alright, so there's five little dots right there, and then whenever you open, there's five right there, and then there's four on that page. Okay. For lunch today, I have a fine treat. Five little fingers for monsters to eat. Delectable digits for nibbling and crunching. Scrumptious wigglers perfect for munching. We'll start with the thumb, so short and stubby, and work up to one that's long and chumby. Chubby. Chomp. So now there's three, three fingers, I guess. Which shall I eat next? A wee little pinky? Where has it been to get quite so stinky? Perhaps in a nose or digging up worms. Now served to me nicely, all covered with germs. I'll eat it right up in one giant bite and let out a burp with a sigh of delight. Chomp, burp, sigh. What is that one? Um, let's taste another. This one will do. It looks a bit bony, but so nice to chew. What is this green stuff? Do I smell a snail? I hope there's some extra goop under the nail. I'll pick it all out and spread it like jelly so it will glide smoothly down in my belly. Chomp. Okay. This fourth one is longer and stickier than most. I could scramble it up and eat it on toast or blend it up into my at afternoon smoothie with great gobs of ch gunk to help make it gooey. It's good for your brain and especially your tummy. There's never been health foods that taste quite so yummy. Chomp. So yeah, one, one finger left. There's one wiggler left, so I'll just have to savor it. Squiggly and squirmy is always my favorite. Let's first take a lick. Is that earwax I taste? Does my nose smell a hint of some old clay and paste? I'll nibble it until all that's left is a stub, then swallow it down with a glub, 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 glub. Nibble, nibble, chomp. And that's the end. Um, so, yeah, I think that this is um, good for, I mean, it's fun um, and funny. It would make me laugh so and I mean it has rhyming in it um and you know in every like page that there's going to be one less finger and like you want to know how he's going to eat it so it keeps like it keeps the kids guessing like oh how is he going to eat the next finger and I think that's just fun for them to also predict stuff and just be excited for the next page so I really love this book